Here's an update on my series for this robotics project that has been inspired by the Mars rover. A uh, lot has transpired since my last video update uh, and what we've, what we've managed to accomplish is everything from the neck up, so to speak. So two major things have been developed since the last video. We have the head assembly, as I'm referring to it, which is the machine vision along with some sensors and other devices. And then we develop the connection area or the neck assembly, as I'm calling it, which is a two degree of freedom stabilized platform. So let me pull the bell jar off and I'll give you a little more specific detail. So the head assembly is based around two open MV cameras. Uh, these cameras are programmed in Python. I chose these specific cameras because the camera module itself is replaceable. Uh, these are identical currently, but one of these will be a high definition camera and the other will be a uh, heat sensing camera with a FLIR electron module. Now also in this head assembly, uh, I have a five milliwatt green laser as well as a high powered LED spotlight. I also included the provision to mount a few three millimeter LEDs for status. Now this head assembly is motorized by two micro servos here and those servos, and I'm gonna do this by hand because I don't have any power applied, allow for the head assembly to tilt, both up and down obviously, and rotate left and right. And that is done by these two servos here. Now the entire head assembly will be stabilized by the neck down here. And this neck assembly gives us two degrees of freedom. And this is controlled by a servo on the side and on the back. And I'll rotate the head assembly around here so you can see the motion that that stabilized platform will be able to compensate for. So again, this platform isn't designed to move the head, but rather keep the head stabilized while the robot base moves around as it traverses the ground. Now, all of that is being run by this tiny Duino uh, Robot Plus processor. I specifically chose this processor because it has the servo motor control built into it, as well as a USB and battery interface. Uh, but it also has the 9-axis IMU that's going to provide the intelligence to run the stabilized platform. So a lot of, a lot of design work, a lot of redesign work, uh, a lot of parts made uh, sometimes two or three times till we got it just right. But again, we have the head, pan, tilt, and gyro stabilization here, uh, dual optical vision, both visible light and infrared. LED spotlight, and uh, green laser. So hope you enjoyed, and we'll keep them coming.